Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm back, so I'm trying to catch up as fast as possible. So I did the intro that doesn't take too much time. So hopefully that gives me some time to catch up with Foodie Beauty because she seems to want to be streaming all day long. So we are going to be doing that. She is driving around in the bathing suit top. The irony of it all. So let me share my screen. Let's get started. And see what she's up to. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Sweet already. Sarah, Demonier Baby, Chance Chats, Mary. I'm just going. Reconstituted oh. Radicio. Hi there. My burger king was at the door for like an hour and a half. Hey, Trippin. Hey, Bob. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Maculator. Sup, Natsuki. Hey, Nina Moore, Jennifer, Sammy Beer, Mo, Kate, oh. Rhonda, Ro, Trudy. I ripped my pants. Hey, Fana. Like, I have no underwear on. I knew it. Black pants I'm wearing. I went to sit in the car. I felt a rip, and I'm like, no, I couldn't have ripped my pants. Hey, Katrina. So I move. I shift my butt. Sure enough, rip right open. So I cannot get out of my car right now. I have to drive in the middle of nowhere. For so what? I can change my pants. My whole ass is showing. I For what? Even, I cannot even get out of my car to go to my house. Hey, white witch. So, I did call it. I totally called it that she probably doesn't have underwear on. Well, why is, where is she going though? Some dirty pants from Natter's in the back. And I have to find somewhere. Lanny B, there was never a Pride thing today. The Pride thing is actually Pride Week, and it is in late August for Capital City, which is Ottawa. Hey, Little Miss Nat. I can change. Hey, Cherry. I just want to feel real love. Hi. Sure, she does. The poor car seat. Oh, yeah, I wanted to tell you. So I was on the phone with Bay Nation. She called me whenever Nader was in the car. Welcome she back. No, and before I had a chance to say anything, she was like, "Oh, I wanted to tell you something." She's like, "I seen a snapshot of Nader wearing your one of your hats, poor hat." And he was like, "Oh yeah, thanks, poor hat." <laughs> hey, Marchioness. Hey, everybody. Welcome. Where is she going to go if her pants is ripped and she can't get outside of the car? This seems like she's going to do some fast food binging right now. Come on. Alex B, you're not blocked. Hey, King. Hey, Grape Jello. What if? What's up? Welcome back, Brimsical. I'm manic. Hey there, Lynn Smith. Welcome to the show. Gort. I am vacation beezing. So I had to find my car keys. I forgot that. Ew, Ooh. look at that. That's disgusting. Look at the sauce on this one. Anyway. Ew. I would never eat that. That is disgusting. That is literally a heart attack. Just waiting. Look at that sauce. Anyway. Exactly, just curious. This is the real reason. If you want to know why Sam's 4 p.m. appointment that should be in an hour and a half from now is canceled, is because she is seemingly manic and wants to go binge eat. She wants to relieve all of that built up inside of her. And one of the ways she does that is to eat. Eat, eat, eat. And that's exactly what she's gonna do. Bikini. What's up, Laura? Anytime I drink, 
Or do I, drugs? I ask kids to hide my keys on me. No, you don't. That's a lie. Just that is a lie. Hey, Karina, what's up? Would would you smell her pants? No. Because did he really say that, Sabrina? For real? There's a Nashi counter. <laughs> For real? It's not true, Tracy. <clears throat> Sabrina would, yeah. Hey, Carbella. Uncle Fritz, welcome. I'm gonna be starting a shorts channel. Am I naked? That's only 15 seconds long. Nope. I can do that. Hi, Alex K. Hey, Hi, Daniel Chrome. Hey, Desiree. Pizza sleeping. I'm gonna go for a drive. Sup, Carbella? Smash that like button, everybody. The Beezer Show. Yes, we need the Beezer Show back in business. Monty's doing his Dragon impression. Yeah? How am I doing it? Pretty good? I'd like this. He's hot shaming. She is out in her bikini, <laughs> yes. Well, that's true. Rip pants and all. Hey, B+. Plus. Very fat shames, too. Hey, fat shame. hey Sir Marie. <laughs> hey, just Jill. If you missed the rager, you can watch it, but... Summer bees. I'm not editing. The reason for the rager was because Natty Daddy isn't claiming her. Go figure. He was drinking Swervo, Swervo last night, talking a lot of shit about Gary and wasn't claiming her. Summer bees. I'm not editing anyone's videos anymore. And it was, it was Swervo tequila. It was kind of funny last night. With the agave, right? Hey, just really straight out of the bottle facts. You really want me to hear that song, eh? Brian, say aluminum, aluminum. English is not his first language, though, so. Mm-hmm. He was hammered, but I know he stands up for Didi. Never for me. And he's like, it's because you talk Didi doesn't talk shit about me. No, she licks your asshole. I I won't do that. How does how does this butthole taste, Didi? What? Like mint and fucking coriander, right? What? About the booty hole? Let's hear this again. Come on. Because you talk Didi doesn't talk shit about me. No, she licks your asshole. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew how does, it. How does this butthole taste, Didi? I'm sure like mint and fucking coriander, right? By the way, she does lick his asshole because she did it. She said it in the song, kissing your butt. Something along those lines, right? It wasn't lick. I think it was kiss. Kiss your booty. I will raise chickens with you. I will do this with you. Kiss your booty. I knew there was ass licking going on. Tongue in them ass cheeks. Pushing your tongue in the asshole. I called it. Yeah, I've been calling it peace missing ring.
You know what he tried to say? Because I flipped out on him about that phone call from its water weight when he's like, I like it the most. I was like, you fucking liar, blah, blah, blah. So further down the line, after he has time to think about an answer, he tells me his excuses. That was Dee Dee. Thank you for the confirmation because you flip, you flipped out on me when I said that it was Dee Dee. You flipped out on me. This is my problem. You make me feel like my feelings are not valid. So I have no choice but to come on here and scream at you. Wait a second. Putting two and two together, I could swear now that Natty Daddy spread them cheeks. Remember, she just told us about half an hour ago that she farted in his face for some reason. I don't know how her, her ass and his face got lined up in bed, but it did. Somehow it happens, you know. But he, in return, was holding on to <laughs> the windows and delivered a fresh one right in her face as revenge. So did he let her pucker up to his hole or not? Maybe we should vote. What do you think? Yes or no? Let's do a vote. Razumi Azra says, I just started a new full-time job this week, so I wanted to support. I'm trying to catch up on what I've missed with Foodie Beauty the past few days. Lol. Razumi, um, a lot, but not much. Uh, all you've missed is that they didn't get the apartment, the studio apartment. She's mad. The Nighty Daddy isn't claiming her, and she keeps going back and forth with the SA slash DV stuff. When I knew all along, oh, it was Dee Dee, but congrats she though. She was just on the job. I didn't even know it was her. She was just saying that, like, oh, like you're handsome, you know, like as to try and bring drama or whatever. No, you cannot watch her. You can hear how desperate and horny she is in her voice in that phone call. You can hear it. You can clearly hear her in the tone. And this is not talking about you, Dee Dee. You actually, I have a right to. This is a reaction. I have a right to react to things that you put online. You called online. What's so up? I have a right to react to this. One small moose. I'm not messaging you. I'm not texting your phone. I'm not harassing you. I'm talking about something that happened online. So. Sure. <coughs> the hand motions and clapping. All right, we're going to have another fast food binging. First stop, where is this? Yeah, she did cipher. Thank you. Hi. Um, <laughs> can I have a grande salted caramel cream cold brew with extra ice? Oh, right, Tilly. Can, yeah. <laughs> and just a grande ice water, please. Oh, Starbucks. And sorry, what's that? Uh, just a grande ice water. Sure. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Perfect. Right after that. Thank you. Where is she going next after Starbucks? Where is she going next? Is it going to be McDonald's? Is it going to be Taco Bell? Is it going to be... Well, she already has the Nashi, so I guess Burger King is ruled out. Is she going to go to uh, Pili Pili again? Who knows? Maybe get some Lachmas in Montreal. I don't know. Maybe go to... Uh... Oh, well get some meat patties. <laughs> I used to have a friend, KS. Hey, Lini Bo. Christina. Is your name Christina? They want me. <laughs> I know. Yo, don't do that ooh like la that, la foodie. La, the Starbucks. <laughs> don't say ooh la la la. Right, Karina? <laughs> yeah, it's Starbucks. Taco Bell next. Justice for Worm? Why? Stop trolling. Hey. Right, Deb. I kind of want to date that other Egyptian man at the fish restaurant when he went to. He's kind of old and looks like Bob Hoskins, but he can cook. Let's go there today. Look over there like this. <laughs> I wouldn't put a pastor to go there. <laughs> my, pants, my whole ass is showing. I need to get somewhere private and change. <sighs> What's the great wolf lunch? <laughs> G-Boy, hi! No Nashies, hello, Kermit. Did I lose weight? I know. Are you worried about me? People are saying 
I'm worried about my weight loss. Right, Christy. Shout outs to CM Cakes for providing earrings for the recent giveaway that is ending. It's going to be ending the 22nd of June. So win yourself earrings or another set of earrings and necklace. We have a lot of options. Let's just put it that way. So check out the community tab and look for the contest that's running right now. You can see it in my face. It's a real big place. Is that her passport? What is that? Is this exercise again? No vet appointment. She allegedly changed it to mobile vet. Said that Sam isn't able to make it to the, his 4 p.m. vet appointment because, you know, he's anxious. Which is a lie. Sharon. Hey, Sunshine yeah. Granny. I barely got a fupa. <sighs> Oh, she, we got to clean the house because they're coming in on the 7th. Like, they're is? coming to clean the AC, which is outside, and all the garbage bags got to go. So we're going to clean. Okay. Only cleaning because of inspections and fixes. What a life, what a life. <sighs> Are we really at the drive-thru with our ass out and a bikini top on? Yes. My clothes look baggy. I know, the pants are baggy a bit, but, but they, for some reason they ripped in the ass area. The mayo on Chantal's chin. Hello. Chantal's weight is all in the side view. <laughs> it's true. I turned to the side and I'm freaking huge. Jammy. We were fine last night until the thumbnail. Is all this just because of a thumbnail? Wait, I remember Jammy. Nikki Cooper. Who's that? Shout out to your friend, Nikki. The moldy pot's still out there. <laughs> Facts, the Johnny. Pot? Sorry. Did she go off to Gary? Yeah, she did in a ways, but it was mostly Nader that went after Gary, talking a lot of shit last night that I got to go over. There we go. Yeah, I'm dressed like this, yeah. You don't think it looks good? I think it looks good. I just need a different pants because these ones are... These were some of my favorite pants. Are these Palazzo pants? Oh, I heard that. Okay, I need to go home and watch Nikocado Avocado shorts. That's all I want to do with my life for the rest of the day. We need more emojis. <laughs> there was a sweet pick of Didi and Adder. I know, they're going to be together forever now. So they can stay together. Hi. Hi. Did Chantel ever take care for hernia? No. On Debbie? Not the hernia, not her biopsy, not her bleeding rectum. You want to see? No, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. And you want to try it? No, no, that's okay. So it's not top, sorry. For sure. <laughs> By the hour. Uh, cooking mama. There you go. <laughs> That's true. It's just I'm gotta wait. Oh well. Sorry. I said they just gotta wait, but oh well. <laughs> Here you go. Also, my personal favorite. I I only tried it yesterday. It's so good. Hey, Hanks, sir. Starbucks are always so cool. How are you being? I want to work here. I want to be part of a family. That's why I love you guys. Hanging out with you guys. Okay, let's go find somewhere remote to drive and somewhere I can change my pants. And it won't be in Ottawa because so I'm going to have to drive. Okay, so there's, um, I want to play mini pot later tonight with Pete. Are you serious? Where is she going to drive so there's now? There's a mini pot place not far from my house that's open until 11. There's a golf place and it has mini pot, 18 holes. But I think we should go mini-putt tonight. What do you think? So for those of you who are curious, Sam is not going to endure torture. I'm not torturing my cats. So <laughs> what I'm going to do is sign them up. 65 bucks a month. Hey, Jessica. Hmm. We'll get the mobile vets <clears throat> to come in. My house will be cleaned by the 7th because they're coming in to inspect. <laughs> Well, they're going to be cleaning up the AC unit. Um, Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm not sure. I kind of want to move out of here because just I don't, I'm not comfortable with people knowing where we live. The rent is very high. 
I kind of want to move somewhere with Pete's a bit cheaper. So what I was doing, I may as well, look, I'm going to be driving for like an hour. So I may as well. Are you serious? Here I go. I'm just going to drive. Let me see. I'm going to go to the middle of nowhere so I can find somewhere to put pants on. I, so here's the thing. Because, because what? You can't put pants on in a mushroom. You can't take the pants you have on. I don't know. Put them behind you if your pants is really that ripped. You know, go into a washroom and change your pants. It ain't that hard. You ain't got to drive an hour with gas over $2 per liter, which is 8 bucks per gallon to change your pants. I've been dying to share with you guys exactly how I've been feeling and what I've been going through with the Montreal trips and everything. Like, there's a lot you guys don't know about and stuff, so... I was dying to to do that, and I wasn't saying anything. Okay, I'm gonna be driving, so I can't see new members or super chat. So I'm just gonna collectively thank you now in advance. I don't. I'm, right, spotted. Not, no, the biggest. Okay, what is making me literally? I'm not gonna say this in a derogatory way towards people with mental illness and stuff like that. I'm not making a joke at this, but I really feel my mental health has taken such a huge downfall, and I think you can all see that. But the majority of the thing is that I'm not being honest with myself. I'm not, I'm doing things that are not good for myself and it's like destroying my soul. And I know it. I'm doing things that are not good for me. I'm basically Let me check playboard. giving so much of myself, doing things that make me uncomfortable in order to make him happy. You know? So far, she's got $9. Last stream, $107. And the stream before that, $202. So. That's why I would get tired and like stressed out after like just a couple days because it, it's very emotional. It's very draining being around like him a lot. It's very draining. He's very demanding. Like, and it's just, yeah, like every single thing, like it's just draining being around him. So I need like, so I don't know why I would think that living with him would be a good idea. No idea or where she's going, to... but it seems she's going east. What he's telling me, he probably won't admit that to you online, but he's supposed to. And like I said, I have all my messages, so he can lie all he wants, but I right. have all messages, like, between us. So, anyway. I was supposed to get an apartment for us. Like, we were supposed to live together. That was the, that was the idea. For me, what I was going to do is... And for me, the biggest thing is not being able to make up my mind, like back and forth, back and forth. Like one minute, I love him. One minute, I want to be with him and I'll do anything for him and make it work. And then the next minute, because we've been through so much shit together, like all of this shit has to make sense, has to mean something. He even said that, like, you know, right, grab jello. Shit, and then we're just going to drop it. Okay, like, yeah, see. If we keep, this, the same logic as trying to repair a broken car over and over instead of just getting a new one. It's like, at some point, we're just going to destroy each other to the point of there being nothing left. We're killing each other. And I don't know about you, but I kind of like living. So no. And I like living peacefully. Honestly. Like, I just... Smash that like button for me, everybody. And I just... She so seems like I just to be going east, which is not where the outhouse is. If she's going east, that means she's going towards Montreal than any, any place else. She might actually maybe going to Hawksbury or Alfred or something. Then maybe turning around. Who knows cannot keep giving. what she's doing. But if she's going towards Montreal, don't put it past her to actually go all the way to Lachine. I'm telling you, she's lying, lying, lying to you. But I do know where she entered the highway. I'm very familiar with that area. And she is going of east. myself and just getting nothing in return for it. I literally get nothing. I get nothing but more stress. I keep waiting. I just keep waiting for validation from this man for some kind of like sign that he loves me. Like I'll literally be like, okay, I love you after doing so much for him. And just because I hey, Kelly. apologize to him, instead of giving me a love you back, he'll give me a thumbs up. Like he'll like emotionally play with me out of like a, a weird fucking sense of kind of like, hey, Mr. Rose. Is what it feels like. Like, are you punishing me? I'm like, why? Why are you punishing me? Like, I don't get it. Why don't you treat Didi this way? Like, what did I, like, I talk about you online. Well, why don't you not act like that? And then maybe I would, like, I was in a relationship with Seb for seven years with Bibi. I never, ever had to talk shit about him. I never talked shit about him because he never made me, like, feel. He never mistreated me. So I didn't have to. 
Hey, Sunny. Yes. I know it's frustrating for you guys because you've been screaming stuff at me. But like I said, I have to live through it myself. Like I Destiny and Dana's wedding gift, welcome. can't listen to everyone's different opinions. Like, I just have to live through my own experiences and learn from my own mistakes, I guess. I don't know. But if I didn't have online and I didn't have you guys, I would probably be in a lot more shit than than I am now. Like, I would probably not see things the same way. She did random so viewer. In a way. I hate to admit it. <laughs> but it's, I know it's very serious subject matter that I talk about. It seems like in a casual way, and I think it, like, upsets people. Yeah. Zardas, we have her at 1.25x. I don't go on and talk online about thing, things that have happened to screw you over. I don't even really think about it when it happens. I'm just so emotional, emotionally charged, and so desperate, I think, to talk to anybody or make sense of the situation. And at the time that I talk about him online and I out his behavior, it's because I don't have any intention of ever going back to him, which is why it makes it seem ridiculous every single time I do. I have no intention every time I say, okay, he did this to me. No, because I think that's the last time. Once I... Once I get away from him this time, I'm not going back. That's, that's my logic all the time. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Have a good weekend as well, Outshine. And I was in the hotel room and I was feeling like that really, like, I was starting to feel like, okay, I need to, hey, like, think of something. I need to go. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. I was, like, in the hotel room and I was like, what am I doing? There, I do have those moments where I'm like, what am I doing right now? Like, I'm in the seediest hotel I'm like stressing, trying to find, think of ways that I'm going to be able to afford to fund his life. Uh huh. You, for what? Like all of this stress, you're right. All this go away instantly. I could have all this money to myself. I can have all of this. I could be happy. I could be. All I have to do is just suffer through breaking up, getting breaking up with him for good. Like, and yeah, and do it. Me off hearing him, like. Not even like acknowledge like he does like not even just saying I don't have a girlfriend I don't that's like the most important for, thing for you is for people to know that I'm not your girlfriend <laughs> really so what do you call it what do you call it when a woman loves somebody puts all of their emotion emotionally supports you spends all of their time neglecting themselves their family and their own finances and their own household and their own job for you I feel like a fucking sucker that's what you call a sucker that's what you call a sucker. What do you call somebody who does all that? If they're not your girlfriend, what do you what do you think? Sucker. What do you think I am? Like just doing this just because you're Nad or El Jammy? You think I'm just doing this just because you're such a good chef? You think I'm just doing all this shit for you just for nothing? Just because you're you, that you deserve the respect and you deserve all that just because you're you. You actually think that. And that's why you're sick in the fucking head. You actually think <laughs> that you're entitled. It's the entitlement. That's oh. the entitlement for me. It's the entitlement. Like you wouldn't oh. Seriously? I know I said that a thousand times. Really? Like, just because you're matter. Oh, I have to respect you and no. Respect and all this shit is earned. You don't get it just because you're Nader El Shami from Egypt and you've traveled 27 countries and you've been around the world and you've been doing shit since I've been in diapers. That does not entitle you to respect. You do not get to do whatever the fuck you want to do to people just because you're matter and you've traveled to 27 countries. That's not how life works. Newsflash. And you're going to learn that the hard way because I'm not lying for you ever again. And you've lost me from your life because of how you are. You. So you're gaslighting? I'm going to turn it around on you today. You're there you go. She said that she has lied for him. She's implied it. Newsflash. And you're going to learn that the hard way because I'm not lying for you ever again. And you've lost me from your life because of how you are. Marvin says, I believe the phrase she's looking for is side chick. Exactly. You. So you're gaslighting? I'm side check. turn it around on you today. You're gaslighting that like you've done for the whole year? Blaming everything on me? Blaming everything on me being crazy? And not taking one ounce of responsibility for your own fucking actions is going to end today. So unless if you really want to redeem yourself, Matter, you know what you need to do because at this point, it's just ridiculous. You need to go on live and save yourself and you need to say, I fucked up and I did some shitty stuff out of anger because you have anger problems. He's never going to say you it. Are. You're a good person too. You're not entire, You're not a bad person. You do shitty things. And I do believe you that you can't control them sometimes. It's not an excuse because you have to learn how to control it. We all have to take responsibility for our actions. If there's anything I've learned about that, especially with the Cuba rage, especially with anything, 
Nobody's gonna fucking save you. Nobody owes you to save you. And you owe me a fucking apology. And Okay, foodie. Stop being so fucking smug and arrogant because people don't like that. People oh, don't not like you, MG. You, you show who you really are too. People are not stupid. People are gonna pick up on it. And blaming me for all of your problems online is bullshit. You have no one to blame but your own fucking self for your own actions. I've been meaning to tell you this forever to your face, but I can't because I'm afraid you'll smack me. So here you go. Here's the truth. And eat it up and go online and just fucking apologize and own your actions. Okay? Own your actions. Wow. There's going to be some major booty licking in store for Foodie Beauty in her very close near future. Own it. You will be a better person for it. I need to do that too. So, and I think I do a lot. I do a lot. Sometimes no, some things are harder to admit. Lots of booty hole licking in store for food You'll beauty. Come online later and lie more because you make yourself look. I always try to tell him. Well, every time we would be like hot doing something because of him, he would be so like, oh no, what are we gonna do now? Make me look like a liar, right? Like you did when you forced me to apologize. That's your answer for everything. Blame it on someone else. How about you take ownership and be like, yes, I did this and this and this. But I'm trying to be a better person. It won't happen again. How can you grow as a person if you won't even acknowledge what you did is wrong? Right, Starfish Darting OnlyFans incoming. Hey, Megan Fox, what's Anyways, up? I'm hey, not everybody. Talk about you. Hey, Toast. I have you blocked everywhere, so I'm talking to you right now. I'm not gonna. You're not even gonna listen to me. All you're gonna do is get offended and defensive. I am not lying for you anymore. I'm not going to talk about you. I'm not talking about any case. I agreed not to. I agreed to just move on, let it go, let everything go, and move on with life, okay? So <laughs> you can just fucking, don't worry. You're going to do your shit, but I'm not going to support somebody who doesn't get two fucks about me. Can't even Bullshit. admit to your true feelings. I mean, okay, so maybe your true feelings are what you portray online when you say things like that. And so then well, maybe I should believe you. So then why the fuck should I do anything for you? Why should I do anything for you? And I'm sorry. I feel like I deserve to talk about this. I feel like me venting is the least I get to talk about. Red Paris. All the shit you've done to me. You've given me gonorrhea. You've abused me. You, you've talked so much shit about me. You fucking cheated on me so many times. You you used me for thousands of dollars. You're nothing. You've done nothing. Hi, hey, Stephanie. You've, like, hurt me. you've really done nothing. Oh, you've given me a few crappy, lousy orgasms. Oh, wow. That I can give to myself for free. I mean, really, like, I'm really, I'm just making sense of it myself right now. I mean, really, sorry. Anyways, I'm done. Stephanie S says, what is she raging about? She's raging about Nader not acknowledging her as his girlfriend, but here's the thing. I really do think he gaslights her. I really do think whenever she's in his presence or whenever he's in her presence, he does make it seem as if they're a couple and they're only not really saying it as if they're a couple because of certain circumstances. I really do think he heavily gaslights Woody Beauty, makes her think or seem as if they really are in a relationship, and then he just walks it back every single time online. And then gaslights her again, then walks it back, gaslights her, walks it back. So if you're wondering why is she raging, it is because he did not claim her as his girlfriend last night slash this morning on his rampage, his little shitty live stream with 150 people talking shit about Gary and saying that Foodie Beauty is not his girlfriend and he's single and he's not with anybody. And now I have to really try, like, no matter, no matter what he says about me, no matter what happens, I guess I just have to just, like, really try to move on. It just makes it worse. All the drama, all the shit. I have to find somewhere to change my pants. Ugh. We are live. How can you not find somewhere to change your pants? You had multiple areas that you could literally go to and change your pants what are you driving for i just know i'm going to be blocking people after am i playing with my kitty <laughs> no so i don't know where my cats are actually probably downstairs probably sleeping 
Yeah. Princess Consuela says, stand up, Monty, ahaha, unless you wanna. Well, I'll think about it. What is OMG? I can't believe I have like assless pants on right now. Did anybody see that? Oh, by the way, if you don't know their revelations, it seems Dee Dee will um, pucker up to Nighty Daddy's asshole. So will Foodie Beauty because she did make a, what was it? Was it a song or was it more of a poetry? But it seems they both have to not only kiss the feet, well, at least for Foodie Beauty, but they have to kiss the booty hole. Right? I mean, she did say Dee Dee was kissing the booty hole, and she has alluded to her kiss in the booty hole. It makes sense. Hand check. <laughs> pucker up to the pucker. <laughs> Kissing feet and butt cheeks. That's my new song. Kissing feet and butt cheeks. <laughs> I'm just gonna drive to like some more countryish and then go in the back and find some pants. I might clean up my car while I'm in the middle of nowhere too. Kissing the brown eye. She's licking it clean, Megan Fox. He's gonna hate me so bad. Oh well. No filter, Mama says. Did you know the same type of skin on our lips is the same as the butthole? True. So is that why uh guess Foodie Beauty's kissing his other other lips? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it, but I am. The other, other lips. <laughs> Footy Beauty was doing human centipede in training. <laughs> Why am I getting in trouble? Like, I don't understand why I get in trouble for talking about him. Like, when everything I say is true, shouldn't he be apologizing for his behavior? Like, that's so stupid. That's like somebody getting murdered. That's like somebody getting attempted. Like, somebody is a victim of, like, something. Attempted murder. Let's just for an example. So then the murderer, like, blames the victim and then, like, the victim apologizes. I don't know. So I'm not saying, like, it's just stupid. Like, even, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, why am I apologizing? Why am I, why did I ever apologize to him? Like, I don't get it. For ruining your reputation. What reputation? People knew me as a chef. <laughs> oh, whatever. Fuck off. Give me a break. Prove that I ruined your reputation. Prove it. Because as far as I know, your reputation was shit anyways. Like, you literally were in prison for stabbing two people. So how in the fuck are you going to say... And, like, I'm not rubbing that against him. He did his time, whatever. I don't know all the details about the case. Like, all right, Clarky. Well, I do know the details, but... You know what I mean? Like, it's not really... I'm not going to, like... I don't want to be like that type of person that's like just because i'm like not mad at you at the time i'm gonna like have a problem you know what i mean i really don't want to be like that oh yes of course if i'm trying to be with him and uh, i love him and i'm not angry him, and my feelings change like my perspectives change you know what i mean i don't know it's just messed up and i just don't want to just don't want to deal with it anymore like i just want him out of my life oh uh, and i just wanted to marry broken him. record but then then i get with him and then can't stand it for like two days and then i remember all of the reasons why and then i get this then i get like this again and then i forget whenever he's nice to me and then it's just like a never-ending cycle it's insane right nurse him uh, hey nancy p still renting tweets i guess the first step is keeping him blocked everywhere driving somewhere i'm not lying to myself anymore like he's i'm not gonna lie to myself anymore and i'm not gonna lie to anybody anymore i feel bad being honest about what happened to me because of the severity of it and the like this not the severity like the seriousness of 
the accusations, the seriousness of the situation, the seriousness of everything I've talked about makes me feel like something I shouldn't. And I feel bad in talking about it. But then I'm like, why do I feel bad at all? Why this is something that happened to me? Why should I feel bad? Why does why should I feel any bad way about it at all? It's not my fault. So true, Stephanie. I think you're summing this right up. Like uh, her perspective doesn't change, but her motive does, right? As in her motive to change the the narrative, to change the story, to retcon what she said before is changing based on how well or how poor the interaction is with Nader. That's literally what she's been doing the past year. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's my fault. Like, he makes me feel like I should feel bad about talking about it. That's how I feel. <clears throat> Don't be surprised if they're back together by tonight. I was abusive to him too, verbally. Not first. Not for no reason. Manufactured content once again. I have a lot of resentment for him. I think like residual resentment for everything he's fucking put me through and I got fuck all out of it, like nothing. So yeah, I'm a little fucking mad. And I think anytime that Dee has been like, bitching at that, it's probably the same thing for her. He probably got himself in a situation with two using two women now that like whenever oh hey so Chantal is not gonna be here he felt like he was like maybe I was slipping away when I went to Windsor without him I broke it off with him went to Windsor alone so he calls in Dee Dee and got Dee Dee into the position that I was in including with feelings and everything money whatever right exactly toast you want me back because now you're legally allowed to be with me again they'll be back by midnight he knows I love you wouldn't put it past because after everything, after all the charges you put on me, I still want to be with you. But I don't feel love from him. Like, I don't feel the same. I hear him say it, but I don't feel it. Right, can so I, I gal? Just because he is in a hard way. And he probably needs me. That's what I feel like. To need the very person that is accusing you of something you won't take ownership for kenny j says the position she was in so on all fours licking his ass i don't know i think he might know some really good suppository positions so maybe you may not need to hurt up those knees you know and it's causing you all the stress and messing up your life and then hashtag save the knees when you're trying to please hit the booty hole but he's always gonna have that resentment for me he's always gonna blame me he's always gonna He's gonna want like revenge on me down the line, but I know it. Can't be. We can't be together. This is insane insanity. Position C. <laughs> yes, you remember the positions. Suppository positions. So these check. are all my thoughts. These are all how I'm feeling, and I don't want to bottle it up. So you better stay away from me because as long as we're together, yeah, I'll probably always talk about you. So Melanie. Can you imagine Natty Daddy? Think the feelings I had for him, I don't think they were love because he wasn't who I thought he was. Like, I was in love with somebody he's not. So it's easier for me to stay away right now because I don't. I feel like I don't know him. I feel like I don't fucking know him. I feel like uh, I feel like yeah. It's just insanity. It has to be finished. Backdoor bees in. Right, Maggie? How are you doing? Well, yeah, we've heard her say this multitude of times before. Oh, no, this road is closed? It's always the same bullshit. Oh, shit. Okay, next road. Over and over and over and There's over again. Where is she going? Yes, I can go down this road. Who remembers that song? It goes like, boo. There's a lot of cars on that street. If there's cars turning down that street, I, I have to find like an actual super deserted street. Can you imagine like he lets them lick it when that song is on? The booty? Because I don't He's want live. Like okay. I'm going to turn him on. To, uh... Oh, I'm 
tired emotionally. Tired. Oh, it it is who do you love? Okay, we're just gonna change it to booty love instead of who do you love? Yeah, but it's um booty love. And can you imagine him yeah, spreading I'm still the cheeks? Sad. Like I feel sick. I feel like I booty wanna run back. love. Oh sure. Booty love. I feel like right now I want to can you picture him like spreading the cheeks and he's like booty love run back to him and like make everything okay i don't want any of this to be true oh, no. i don't want it to be true i want it to be fucking you know it's not it is true it's not, no. oh <sighs> searching for fupa dive <laughs> It will never change. My future with him will always be seedy, <laughs> shitty hotels. <laughs> Crying. Misery. Failure. <laughs> can't thrive with him. It's not, it can't happen. Hey, Super. What's up? Back door bees in. Ha. Huh? Myself first. Or front door bees in with Dee Dee. Always. How about both, Matt? How about anyone else? Especially if they don't deserve it. So. Oh, by the way, I'm going to redo the LL Cool J song. And it's going to go something like this. Oh. oh, oh, oh. And then I'm going to have like a Nashi on my arm. Like, there's going to be a Nashi right here. Right? It's going to be like a Nashi right on my arm. And I'm going to be like, oh, 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 oh. Then I'm going to be like, Eerie said knock you out. So I'm going to knock you out. Eerie said knock you out. So I'm going to knock you out. And I'm going to do it to Roman. <laughs> then I'm be like, look at the Nashi on my arm. <laughs> Like, why would I come online and talk shit about him if he treated me well, right? It wouldn't happen. And yes, I'm probably making him crazy because I just feel like he just doesn't know better. I, I really do. I'm not making excuses for him, but I feel like he really believes his own words his own lies right himself. don't call it a comeback monty's been here for years <laughs> like the whole situation is really stressing him out but you can make it like i don't know what to say it's not my job to save you man so that's it let's just talk about something else hey mincy I guess that's all I can do. I can't keep talking about him forever. I just wanted to say what I say. Right, see him cakes. <laughs> this is a straight up change my massive overhead wires. Oh, yes. Okay, let's just keep going. This is like a dirt road. Hopefully, he will, Martianus. Why are we going down dirt roads? For what? What reason? Okay. Important phone call. Okay, let's load this up. Oh, it's so gorgeous here. charge me um, like he charged me 300 bucks for shrooms once hey ray ray i bet you he pocketed that money he fucking ripped me off he did but we've been told you that he's ripping you off who called that for coke every time ffg called that she said that he's probably ripping her off like really um pushing up the prices hacking the prices up on her and then pocketing the money probably charging me i talked to a coke dealer a while ago at the time and they were like 150 i've never heard of it being that expensive oh this is good shit this is really good shit no it's it's stomped on he's probably it was probably more like 80 or 90. how are you doing Ray? Ray? The rest. just like little things like that i think about that make me pissed off all over again and it will always happen so again i'm blocking you don't fuck with me because if you don't like this you don't like being outed for your behavior you're gonna have a problem with me over and over again over and over and over again Exactly, PMG. You don't think if this went to court, I would win? I'm gonna sue you. <laughs> no, I don't think if it went to court that you would win. I don't. I really don't. I really don't. You know you wouldn't. 
trying to fucking get me to right, get a lawyer. Get a lawyer for you? Never in a million years. Ever in a million years. All right, let's pull over here. Change in the pants for the feeders. This is all for the feeders, everybody. Hi. A gram of shrooms is 10, 15 bucks. I know. Yep. Yep. Exactly. She's pissed. 300 for a gram of shrooms from your boyfriend? I know. Right? But she's allowing it. Right? Nice boyfriend. He ain't your boyfriend. He ain't your boyfriend. Now, what are you doing in the middle of a road? He's a big YouTuber. With fields all around. At the time, I couldn't get them from the dispensary. I still don't think he's grifting. I really believed him, okay? Right, fish? Like, make no sense. You think he's really grifter? No. He's a homosexual. Don't stress him out. I'm st I don't want to stress him out. Guys, look at my pants. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see that again. Oh, no. Let's see that one more time. Okay. Wait a second. Okay, here we go. Wow. Oh, these chips. These chips are not that good, though. <laughs> the car is probably like, okay, I have this vest. Right, this. Charlotte. How the hell you rip baggy pants? I have some pants here. Ew, they probably stink. Right, exactly, random viewer. And she was in her area, so go home, change your pants, save your gas. Oh, of course, Karina. Isn't Chantel technically the homosexual? It's, it's homosexual versus homosexual. How about that? Ew. What did Didi do to these? Why would Didi have your clothes? Oh! Can you see me when I go? No. All right, she got 1,200 people watching her. She watched them. <laughs> what is with that look? I didn't think he was scamming me at all. 300 for shrooms, yeah. change my pants in the field here because I can't show you me changing and I gotta take my shoes off so I will just be two seconds Red Pam. okay let's go forward um yeah so she ended all right let's go to here And she's back. All right, let me check how much super chat she got. Dead. Hold on. <laughs> I swear it's dead. She better know where she's at. Oh, oh. thank God. 
Almost. Oh. oh. Sup, Aquarius star? Oh my god, thank god. Oh. 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 Did you hear it? <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> no, I put them. I have a big garbage bag. Smash that like button, everybody. Remember, Ray Ray's go find me. Oh, my car breaking down. Get a battery. You know what? Her car is gonna go kaputs on her, especially with that battery. She's gonna forget one day in the middle of nowhere. Me coming online crying. I had to drive out to the middle of nowhere because I had to put pants on. Okay, back to Ottawa. Wait. Or you could have driven home. How about that? Maybe the alternator's going. Maybe I should go home. Sup, I rate Danny. It might be the alternator. How you doing? Something is dying. Let's go home. I don't want my car to fucking out of nowhere. I got some pants on and a shirt. Oh, the motorcycle guy replied and said that would be nice about the museum. Right, Nancy P. So maybe he's not just about sex. Facts toast. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, Sonny Bizzle, really? Natty Daddy's live? I don't know what that's about. Yeah, she needs to get a new battery. Bottom line. Yeah. If you're just coming in, I think I'm gonna go for now. Nader is a shitty guy once again. A shitty guy who did enter her booty hole without her consent, which would be described as SA. So she's back on that once more is because he didn't acknowledge her as his girlfriend. She's mad at that, but he's not going to acknowledge her. So she's mad. She's upset. She's pissed off. He was drinking Suevo. He was talking a lot of shit. He wasn't acknowledging her as his girlfriend. Now she's mad, bringing back stuff that she's repeatedly gone back and forth with. Yeah, she probably wants to watch his live stream. That's exactly yeah, what's going on. Some live streams. All right, everybody. Uh, I think I, I got to do some stuff. Smash that like button. We're going to go mini putt tonight. I want your lunch room. I got to go. Oh, he's out on his walk, so meet up with her. I wonder where she is. She seems to be somewhere in the middle of you know who. I think I can kind of pinpoint. I would say she's still pretty close to Alfred. If I'm not mistaken. Which she could still literally go to Montreal. Who knows. But uh, am I training for the fight? Of course Nancy P. Anyways everybody. I am out. I gotta do some stuff. Because um, a lot of places are. Close to closing. And I really gotta do some phone calls. Why wouldn't she drive us back to Ottawa exactly? Why wouldn't she? Don't make no sense. Anyways, I'm out. We'll see each other shortly, maybe in an hour or two or three, or maybe in the next half an hour. Who knows? But I'll be here. Take care. Have a good one.